All right, today I'm taking a look at Dewar's 12 Year. Uh, this is a brand that got revamped last year. Uh, so it's the same recipe basically, but uh, instead of marrying it in these huge vats that don't really add any complexity or flavor to it, they actually decided to finish it for three months in First Fill X bourbon casks. That means the barrel has already had bourbon in it, but it hasn't had any scotch in it yet. So it's gonna pick up a lot of that flavor from those casks. So uh, this is one of those great bottles. It just sits on the shelf. It's 30 bucks. It's got a 12 year age statement. Uh, I swear, if you slapped a Johnny Walker color on it, you could get 100, 150 bucks for it because it's just that good. So some of the single malt comes shining through, some of that Aberfeldy, buttery, soft toffee. There's a little bit of vanilla. I get a little touch of green apple on the nose. On the palate, mm. just a pinch of citrus right up front and then just massive wave after wave of butterscotch. There's complexity on the end, a little touch of dry oak, but this is just an absolute over deliverer for the price, the age statement, the pedigree, everything about it. It's a great revamp of a brand that's kind of been around and been ignored, but if you know, you know, and that's why Doer's 12 is worth it. Cheers.